time to get to bed. If you think sleepless nights are harmless, a new study begs to differ, claiming it may be connected to dementia. Alzheimer's disease has been associated with the buildup of beta amyloid proteins in the brain, which manifests as plaques. Since sleep is believed to flush amyloids from the brain, lack of sleep has been correlated with a higher risk of the neurodegenerative disease. In a study conducted by the National Institutes of Health, amyloid levels in the brains of 20 healthy subjects were measured after a full night's sleep. When the subjects were deprived of sleep for more than 24 hours, scans revealed that the levels of beta amyloid had increased significantly. While the immediate effects of sleep loss are clear, the study failed to look at implications over a long period of time. But even without establishing causation between lack of sleep and dementia, it's clear sleep is crucial to a healthy functioning brain. Is there a cure for Alzheimer's? Detecting Alzheimer's years before symptoms begin. Researchers at Washington University in St. Louis have developed a simple blood test that may be able to detect whether a person is developing Alzheimer's disease. Amyloid plaques, the buildup of amyloid beta proteins in the brain, start developing more than 15 years before the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease start to surface. At the moment, the only ways to monitor plaque buildup are through PET scans or spinal tap procedures. Researchers have developed a new blood test that can detect the amyloid beta buildup in the brain. The test measures the amounts of three amyloid subtypes, the peptides amyloid beta 38, 40, and 42. It has been found that the levels of amyloid beta 42 are consistently 10 to 15% lower than amyloid beta 40 in people with amyloid plaques in the brain. The blood test is said to have an accuracy rate of 89% over 20 blood samples. Researchers plan to expand the experiment to include 180 people. A breakthrough in Alzheimer's research. Researchers at MIT have discovered a new potential treatment for Alzheimer's disease that involves interfering with an enzyme that forms blockades in brain cells. Scientists have found that levels of HDAC2 enzymes are usually higher in people with Alzheimer's. Medical mice with the disease also have elevated levels of this enzyme. HDAC2 enzymes bind to genes called SP3, which in turn condenses chromatin and reduces the expression of some genes in the DNA. This results in the blockade of memory formation. Researchers isolated the particular section of HDAC2 that binds to SP3 and overproduced that fragment. These fragments bind to SP3, preventing it from binding to entire HDAC2 enzymes, thus allowing memory link genes to be expressed. Previous attempts at blocking HDAC2 would often trigger dangerous side effects by interfering with the production of red and white blood cells. The MIT method is the first procedure to have shown no interference with other enzymes. Researchers are investigating other ways to adapt the technique in human trials. UK scientists develop gene therapy to treat Alzheimer's. Researchers from Imperial College London have developed a gene therapy that successfully prevents the development of Alzheimer's disease in mice. Amyloid plaques are formed by a protein known as amyloid beta peptide. These clumps of protein, which are found in the brains of people with Alzheimer's disease, are believed to cause the death of brain cells. Scientists added the gene PGC1-alpha to a modified virus able to target specific cells. This modified virus was delivered directly into the brains of mice suffering early stages of Alzheimer's. The gene is said to be able to prevent the formation of amyloid beta peptide, thus preventing the formation of amyloid plaques. Lab results showed the mice that were injected with the PGC1-alpha gene developed very few amyloid plaques, while untreated mice had multiple plaques. Imperial College London reported that previous studies have suggested physical exercise and the compound Revirotrol, which is found in red wine, may also increase levels of PGC1-alpha in the human body. However, the researchers of the new treatment technique suggest injections of the gene would be the most beneficial. Better Alzheimer's treatment soon. Alzheimer's is a crippling disease that currently has no cure, 
But a British neuroscientist is hoping that breakthroughs in research could lead to better treatment in just 10 years. According to a neuroscientist, Joseph Jabelli, memory loss comes with age, but forgetting what certain everyday things are could signal a more serious problem. Healthy brains shrink by about 10 percent between the ages 50 and 80. Brain cells shrivel up slightly, reducing contact between each cell and causing them to function more slowly. In patients with Alzheimer's, toxic proteins cause a buildup of plaques and tangles in the brain, which causes cell death. Current medication only treats the symptoms and can delay them for six months to a year. Researchers have been looking into ways of using sleep to treat the disease, since the brain uses cerebrospinal fluid to clean away the plaques and tangles during sleep. Scientists are also considering neural stem cells as a treatment for Alzheimer's, believing that the cells can be activated to generate new neurons, allowing the brain to heal itself. Jabelli believes the future of Alzheimer's treatment lies not in an outright cure, but in being able to manage and control the disease enough to keep its symptoms at bay.